Oh, crikey, Charlie's here is a bonus, bonus, bonus. I was just walking down the path and look what I noticed here. It's a huntsman spider and it hasn't been squishied, but I'll tell you what, there's a sack of ants on it. Now, just looking at this, I can't tell what's going on here. Maybe it's just had its natural life and it's just dropped. But I'll tell you what, the ants are just going crazy for this huntsman spider. Just stunning to watch. I just uh, hit it with a stick here to see if it's going to tell me anything about it. It's actually fairly stiff. Mm, okay, um, put it this way, if it was a fresh sort of thing, it'd be all flexible. Yeah, the, the, what I will do is I'll get this huntsman off the path. I'll get it somewhere where the ants can enjoy it without getting squishied. Because I'm kneeling here, the ants are running up on me. I'll just pick up this huntsman. And maybe by feeling it, I can tell a bit more about the spider. Mm. It's actually, no, it's actually, uh, well, yeah, it's quite flexible. But I'll just get it somewhere where the ants aren't going to get squishy. They're over on the grass here, like I was doing with the cicadas. When I do that cicada study, the ants will find it there, I'm sure. That's really confused those ants there. They're saying, hey, where's our meal gone? Don't you worry, it won't take long. The ants will send out their special signals and they'll say the wonderful Huntsman meal is now over here and at least they can eat without getting squishied by someone walking down the path. Yes, it's happening faster than I thought. The ants are talking to each other. The ones on the side of the path there are saying, hey, the food's over here now, guys, come and get it. It's a lovely, lovely meal for the ant colony and we always like to keep our ants as our friends, uh, miraculous little critters. I'm just thinking up a scenario of what happened here. Possibly there's a spider wasp working around here and it was dragging it to its lair. Okay, just think about that. And it got caught up on the path there and the ants basically took control of what was going on. Do you think that's plausible or do you think I'm, well, fantasizing there? I tell you, there's so many black ants now on that huntsman spider, they've found that food really fast and they will, I dare say, pull it apart, take it down to their nest because, well, that's what ants do. Ants are our friends. Well, let's take on a bit of redback spider stuff. Hey, this is one of the, what would you call it, lures that I've made up for my backyard to attract redback spiders because it presents to them the perfect home. Okay, I know there's a redback spider in here. It's been quite a successful little thing, this, and I gave it a stick insect um, a couple of days back. Let's just see what's going on in here, whether we can find the stick insect and see what our redback's up to. Well, I can see the redback spider. Let's take a closer look. Actually, before we have a look at her, I've just noticed a very, very small male redback spider. Let me just zoom in on that a bit closer. I'm holding the phone camera as still as I can. I'm pretty sure that's a male there. I dare say I'll know more when it's up on the computer. I hope I'm correct. Sometimes if you raise them up, you can tell the males are quite sprightly when they move. Yes, I'd say we're dealing with a male there by the way it's moving around. Again, oh yeah, okay, yes. Just trying to get a really nice clear shot there. I'll tell you what, it's very small. It wouldn't be a fully mature male. But it's wonderful to see. The other thing to note here is the males always keep away from the females. You know why? <laughs> because the females end up eating the males. Let's take a closer look at her now. I don't want to give her too much of a hard time. I gave her a hard time before. You can see all of her web network in there. In fact, I remember I pulled apart a little home last time I was here. So I'll just see if I can tickle her and see how active she is. Yes, um, the sort of thing with redbacks I've noticed. Oh, crikey, there's a male there coming in the frame is they will often go for something before they ball up and I'm going to try and prove it here with this stick and there okay see that um, that's why they're pretty dangerous because the other spiders will ball up but a red back will have a go okay that's uh, why you got to be really 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 careful with them I'll just get the stick out of here oh there was a nice red back on oh, don't tell me she's going to follow me out you stay in there, little girl, please. A day after this was shot, the female redback spider made her egg sac. She was looking a little bit plump, and also I noticed another more mature male started to hang around with her. The redback spider nest, it's a fairly dynamic and fairly dangerous little zone to hang out in. I do have a plan for the egg sac, and it involves ants. 
So there you go, it's a happy, happy family there. I can't see the sick insect in there at all. And that has me a little bit perplexed. Maybe she dumped it out uh, after it was eaten. I know it got wrapped up and everything, and I'll just put this little home back the way it was, nice and, of course, gently. There you go. She'll never know I came and visit her. Let's hope she has a happy little life in there. Until I decide it's all over. 12 hours of ant activity. This is the next morning and I've just come out to see how the huntsman spider has been pulled down by the ants. I'll just see if I can pick it up and see what's left of it. Okay, well the back end has been removed. Oh man, there's ants crawling all over me now. Uh, but you can see the work that the ants have done there. It's quite miraculous indeed. And I'll leave that there so the ants can finish the spider off. Although I've got to get these ants uh, from my hand now. One very happy ant colony there and well, one huntsman spider that didn't have a lucky day. Twenty-four hours of ant activity. Okay, this is exactly twenty-four hours since I put the spider down here for the ants to enjoy. Let's take a look at what's left. And <laughs> crikey Charlie's. I'm having trouble finding anything there. There's actually there's a leg there. Okay, it's just falling apart on my hands. Uh, there's more legs there, uh, but I can't see the body. Um, the ants have cleaned it up. I'll just come in and I'll pick some bits up because it's actually a bit scattered. And I'll put them over here where the ants are walking. And um, maybe that's going to paint a bit of a picture of what's going on here. Okay, uh, I'm actually surprised of how little is left. It's basically leg components. Okay, as for anything else, uh, not much else to look at. Okay, um, that's the components I've recovered and the ants are picking up these bits and taking off of them. There you go, there is absolute proof of what the ants are doing. They are taking that leg along and I dare say they're going to take that along to the nest. Unbelievable. It's the weirdest thing to witness. Um, they're sort of cooperating there. Now if I go back to the other pile of legs there, they're getting excited about those components as well. I bet you they're going to walk them back to the nest. Well, that huntsman spider must have been finger licking good, or should I say leg licking good. Well, the educational content in this video is now we know how long it takes for a nest of ants to eat one giant huntsman spider.